Slow Ukraine! Hello comrades and welcome to a tutorial video. It's very quick and brief. It's how to install mods. A fairly simple process. At times it can be. Um, so there's uh, option one, there's the workshop. So you just go to items, select one. Oh, it's a pretty cool part of Valor. Might need it. You hit subscribe. And then, you know, it downloads. And uh, boom, you're done. So uh, there's the other way. Uh, you go to uh, Mod DB or Men of War Portal. Uh, these are both the biggest sites for uh, mods for Men of War that you can find. There's like very rarely any mods that are uploaded anywhere else. So uh, so obviously, so you'll hit download. Uh, I'm on uh, Mozilla Firefox, and I have WinRAR, so I'm not sure if this will happen for any of you, but uh, basically when you hit download, uh, this folder will pop, this little thing will pop up. I think it's from WinRAR. It'll say open with or save file. So if you do open with, uh, it'll do, it'll put it in a temporary folder and after a certain amount of time, I think like a, a few hours or like maybe even a day, it'll uh, delete after that. The computer will delete it, and uh, you know that way it doesn't clutter up your files and all that. But if you hit save file, it'll save it to the downloads folder. So, again, this might just be from WinRAR, or it might be from Mozilla. Either way, if you don't get that box, don't worry about it. So I already have this downloaded. I'll close that. So on Mozilla Firefox, it pops up here, uh, and you see it'll be in the temp folder. So I'll just open that up. Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't used Chrome or uh, any other uh, site for ever, so uh, we'll go back. Uh, now you need to uh, place the folder into your Men of Order Assault Squad files. There's two ways of doing that. You can either go to this PC, and uh, depending on which uh, hard drive or whatever your, your Steam is downloaded on. So, because I only have this one. I don't need to check, so it'll be local C disk, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and we're Salt Squad. Because this is a map, we'll go into resources, map, my maps, El Hasena, because it's already there, yep. These files, close that out. And there's the other way, so you right click on your game, this is obviously a lot easier. Properties, local files, browse local files. Pulls you right up to there. Obviously, you won't go into resources with the mod, you'll go into the mods folder. Close that. So, now to download from uh, Men of War Portal. This site uh, is a Russian site. It's uh, a bit of an interesting looking site. I know some people are very untrusting of it. Um, but it's honestly, it's just. It, from my experience, it's just mod DB, but in Russian. <laughs> uh, so obviously, you know, you'll have this whole. Oh, this is the original. Mm. That's cool. Working multiplayer. But uh, yeah, um, for Chrome, I think it'll automatically translate the page. I think for Firefox, you have to download an add on or whatever. Anyway. Um, I got distracted by reading that comment. Oh, it's VK, it's a Russian site. Uh, anyway, this is just a, this bright green thing that looks like a download button, it's an ad. You can see the little, uh, box right there, the little X. Don't click this ever. You have these four options here to download. Uh, you got this, you got uTorrent, Google Drive, and Udensk. Certain file sizes uh, free Edensk will not uh, let you download so it'll bring you to a page like this and uh, it'll say save to Edensk and download uh, the problem with Edensk is that I think you have to from last time I remember you have to create an account and you have to pay for a certain amount of storage space uh, maybe that's useful for you if you need that space for more than just downloading mods or whatever reason I uh, don't, so I never use it. 
Um, but like, you know, other files that are like much smaller, you can easily uh, do a demonstration. So, uh, like this one, this is just a few skins. You can download. You got this page, but you can just download directly. You know, so you click it, it will automatically pop up there. Uh, because you see, it's a very small file. But you see how big this one is. So obviously that won't work. Unless you want to pay for that kind of crap. I, I never do. Anyway, you can do Google Drive, and you can do uTorrent. Because I don't have uTorrent, uh, it'll automatically ask you to you know, download the file, put it into uTorrent and all that. I've never really enjoyed using uTorrent. For me, it's been like ineffective, slow, and just not any good. So uh, I've never really bothered with it for years now. I always usually do Google Drive. So with Google Drive, it'll say, whoops, there's a problem with the preview. No worries. You click download. It'll open again. It'll say it can't scan for viruses. And when you download, it, uh, for me at least, it says that it cannot estimate how long it takes. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't usually take too long, depending on your internet speed. So anyway, you'll download it. You'll, uh, you know, you'll have your little WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever it is you use. You'll go to your properties, go to local files, you know, go to mods, and you'll just drag and drop. And uh, it'll be there. Then you launch your game, you activate the mod. Um, the UFO Aftermath mod is in English for, like, the main page, uh, for, like, the game setup and all that, but in editor... Um, when you hover over units, it'll, uh, be in Russian text, so, uh, I'm not sure if the mod creator will do an English localization or not entirely, which I never really care for. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's about it. I hope this helped, uh, for any of you that are having problems with the UFO mod, or if you're worried about using Men of War Portal, uh, have no worries, it's, uh, from my experience, perfectly safe site. I've never had any viruses or any issues from it. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it helpful. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good morning, good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. See you soon.